paper kit here. I want to show you something that I made with a different type cell that I've been working on. I want to try and get as much production as I can with hydrogen without using an ungodly amount of plates, and pipes, and whatever. So what I come up on this one is it looks like an hourglass. It consists of four cups up on top, four cups on, on the bottom. Now the, the top cup and the bottom outer cup is a negative. And you got two neutrals in between it. Then you got your two positives joined together. And what I did on this cell, instead of just taking a cup and putting a, an exhaust port to where the gas can just come up, it worked good. But I went ahead and I took a starter drill bit and I drilled a whole bunch of holes all the way around it so it looked like a, somebody shot it with a shotgun nothing but holes, about 15, 16 holes and that way when I lined them up as the gas is formed it really comes out fast out of them holes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this is a cold start Notice when I, as soon as I hit it, she just starts spewing it out. And what's doing it is all those little holes. You can just see them. She's just spewing it. over here not too bad for just uh, two negatives and two positives and four neutrals reason why I put the neutrals in there is just to keep the heat down a little bit I noticed when I had this running for about an hour before the water temperature only got up to 100 degrees and stayed there. And I'm running approximately, if you look at my meter, drawing about 24, just about 25 amps. I'm staying at 12 volts. Now, back this up. I can actually take this thing turn the light off see the flame. Just that little bit of cell. Just some eight cups. And I got a flame like that. So I figure if I make about four or five, six of these little units, and put them in a tank, I can have some pretty good pressure. This thing approximately puts out in 60 seconds, it puts out a liter.
hold it on there long enough, it'll eventually burn a hole through it. The more pressure I got, it'll burn it quicker. What I plan on doing is pressurizing this into a tank. But that's what I got so far. Doesn't do too bad. Another thing about this, usually at 25 amps, let me take this off. Usually at 25 amps, this thing would be so hot, I can hold my fingers on it. I took a temperature reading of this and it gets up to about 85 degrees. Actually the negative is the one that puts out the hydrogen and the positive puts out the oxygen. And the water, the way I got it made, got them stacked in that. It uh, never gets up above 100 degrees, which I'm not really worried of, even if it did get any hotter, because what I'm doing is I'm using it for my uh, oxy torch, not running it on a car. As I come up with a different design and get the setup made with about five or six units. I'll get back with you and I'll put another video on it to show you how it's going. Paper Kid, talk to you later.